Last week, the Indian Space Agency allegedly landed an unmanned spacecraft and rolled out a rover onto the south pole of the moon. As usual, however, nearly 99% of the footage shown of this groundbreaking event was clear, obvious, and very poor CGI. Why do you suppose NASA, Roscosmos, the Chinese, Indian, and all other world space agencies spend money creating and airtime broadcasting all these computer graphic animations of their expeditions rather than showing us actual video footage. How difficult would it be to have a few cameras on these crafts permanently recording different angles of the entire flight for us? They allegedly succeeded in having a live telephone conversation between Nixon and astronauts on the moon, broadcast on television over 50 years ago. But with half a century of technological advancement, we still cannot receive live video from these rockets after only a couple minutes of ascent. They always change from live video for the first couple minutes to nothing but CGI for the rest of the journey. Look at these ridiculous cartoon animations and ask yourself, why can't the public just watch the actual live video of the entire journey? Even if only to be recorded and released at a later date, why aren't the public shown unedited video footage from multiple angles of the entire flight duration? Never once has any space mission in history been so transparent as to show full unedited footage of their whole expedition. Instead, what we always get is what India's space agency has just given us. A bunch of grown men and women fervently yelling and applauding over pre-made cartoons broadcast as live video. The still shots we are given from the Chandrayaan-3 are of two varieties. First, we have the overly produced, clearly photoshopped, full-color propaganda pieces, like these, which are shown repeatedly alongside claims of India's successful moon landing, without making it explicitly clear that these images were all created by artists long before the mission even started. The second type of still shot we are given are poor quality black and white shots of dirt and a dark background, claimed to be taken on the moon, but are impossible to differentiate from a sandlot or movie set on Earth. Likewise, the short clips of video footage they tease the public with as being authentic are simply 15 second videos of some lander legs approaching a gray background and the rover rolling down a ramp onto some dirt somewhere. Look at the terrible frame rate and artificial appearance of the supposed moon. What bit of this footage proves that India has actually landed on the moon? What about these clips and images is supposed to silence skeptics and convince critical thinkers that this wasn't filmed here on Earth? The entire mission cost Indian taxpayers $75 million, which is equivalent to how much it costs to make the Hollywood space movie Independence Day, without ever leaving the Earth. It doesn't take much more than this simple charade to delude the gullible general public. But for those of us who have deeply researched this issue, and poked endless holes through the lies of NASA and other space agencies, we know exactly what is going on here. For those of you who still believe in these Hollywood and Bollywood farces, please do yourself and the world a favor, and watch my banned YouTube video, 20 Proofs NASA Faked the Moon Landings, linked below in the description box.